All right, Firemine here. And today we are going to take a look at how to create a health bar in 3D space. So this health bar, to show you this real quick, will levitate over a enemy or character or player's head in the 3D game and it will always rotate towards me. So I can always see exactly what the health is because it's rotating towards wherever I go. And that health bar would, would also, if that character was to move, it would also follow them. And yeah, so that's basically the perfect way to create a health bar in 3D space and always be able to read it. So let's see how you do that. Okay, so here's how we start off. We have this basic game here with a rollerball that can roll around in this world freely. And here we have an enemy that is kind of just looking around, you know, maybe we get him to follow us later on. But basically what we want to do or what we want to achieve here is we want to add a health bar above the head of that enemy or player or whatever you want to call this character. And that health bar should always look towards us. So no matter what direction we are looking at it, it should always face us and should always be very well readable. So in order to do that, we go and create a new canvas. So I'm going to, I'm using this canvas for something else. So I'm going to create a new canvas here. So let's go to UI, let's right click UI, go to canvas. And then also I maybe want to call this canvas something else. So I'm just going to call it enemy, enemy health bar. And then this canvas, we're going to change something. So we don't want it to overlay on our screen. We want to be in the world itself. So we're going to choose world space on render mode. And double click it so we can see where it is. So first things first, we see that it's way too big. So let's click it and let's make it a lot smaller. So let's make it like maybe two and two, two by two and see how big that is now. Um, pretty far away. So what we want to do is we click do a right set here, click reset. And now it is in the center of our world. That's a lot better. So now let's just drag that onto our player, uh, enemy. All right, we can see that it's still way too big. So we want to size this down dramatically. So what I'm going to do is instead of 100, I'm going to put like 1.0, 1.1. 1 .1, so you got to have to play around with these values a little bit in order to get it right. And here we have our canvas. Now I think it's probably too small now, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like it's too small to even show. So let's put it like on one and one. Still way too small. Okay, so let's just put it one, one, that's fine. Okay, cool. So now we have this like little plane hovering around the enemy's head. So first things we want to do is we want to actually drag this below our character. So when we decide later on this character should actually move, so this plane would move with the character anywhere he goes. So that's the first thing we want to do. Then we're going to add the actual health bar. Uh, I'm not going to go into much detail about this. I made a, another tutorial about this, so you can check that out. I'll link it in the description below. So there I show how to actually make that health bar interactive and you know how to decrease it when a col an event or a collision or whatever happens. So if you want to check that out in detail, go to the other tutorial that I link in the description below. So let's go to that quickly. Let's create a simple health bar here.
All right, so now we have that health bar. Uh, maybe do it from the different side. So yeah, we have a health bar now that we can later animate if we want to. But what we want to focus on right now is we want this health bar because right now what happens is if I roll around this, so you can see it is actually in 3D space. So if I look at it from the side, I can hardly see what the health bar is. You could use it like this. You can add, add the scripts that I show in the other tutorial on how to make the health bar and you already had a perfectly fine working health bar. But I want to have it so that if I look at it, it always shows towards me. And for that, we have to add a little script, uh, not a very complicated one. So what you want to do is you want to go to my website that I set up for this. It's at Firemind Academy and here how to create a 3D health bar in space. Um, I link that to, to this website uh, on, in the description and here you can copy the look at cam script. So what you want to do is you want to go to the enemy health bar, add a component and then click on new script and call this look at cam. You can call, of course, call this whatever you want, but um, I recommend this name because it can assess what it does, which is a big part in programming. You always want to call your functions and classes or whatever, kind of like what they do. So when somebody reads your code, they know what's happening because your function is tell, telling them. So you could just go copy the look at cam script here. I'm not going to go into much detail about the code here because that just will take too much time, basically. What we're having here, we are taking the camera that we are looking through when we're playing the game and then rotating the position of our canvas so it always looks towards that camera. The only thing you actually need to know is to, if once you save that, you should, if you click the enemy health bar canvas, you should have that look at cam script. And as soon as it's saved, that takes some time sometimes, you have that camera to look at. And then you got to find the camera wherever that will be in your game. In my case, it's that main camera. Drag it on here. And then once that's done, the health bar always looks in my direction. So it basically rotates with me. And yes, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Like I said before, uh, we can make this health bar decrease uh, if we want to, but that I showed in the other tutorial and there's no point in repeating myself on that. So go check out the other tutorial if you want to see that. Other than that, now you have a perfectly fine enemy health bar. And yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Also consider subscribing. That's always greatly appreciated. And if you have any other ideas for tutorials, can't find the tutorial you are looking for? Well, just ask for it then. Just go to tutorial-request.com and check out if other people are searching for the same tutorial as you do. If you find a matching request, make sure to leave it a like, so other creators always know what's in demand. And if you can't find a request that you are looking for, just create a new one. Simply click on New Request, then choose a title, topic, and description for your request and simply click on make request and you're done. It's that easy. And with your request, you help creators know what's in demand. So go over to tutorial-request.com and sign up today. It's free.